Hi, I'm Peter Kahnström of Kahnström.com Business Solutions. When you're working with a contact list, you have probably noticed that if you hit a new item in that list, you get to fill in the last name, this is Kula and Kalle, and then you get to fill in the whole name also. And if you've worked with Outlook, you're probably used to that being filled out automatically for you. And you also feel that this form is a little bit boring. It's not really like a contact card, it's just a long list of fields. And uh, that might be a reason to you know, put a lot of work into customizing the form, which is something you can do. But I would also recommend that you try out using Outlook. Because Outlook you probably have a license for. And it's very, very easy to modify the content of your contact list. So Outlook can synchronize with a lot of things. It can synchronize with the calendars and with the document libraries and also with contact list. There is another story when it comes to tasks also, but that functionality is a bit broken now, so I won't go into that. But when it comes to calendars and contact list and document libraries, Outlook is just great at that. So let me show you how to do it with a contact list. I just connect that to Outlook and get this warning. And in Outlook here, I get this dialog and I accept that too. And now I have a contact list with all these items. So now when I create a new item, I type in Kale Kula, like that. And you'll notice that the full name is indeed filled out. First name, last name, and file as Kula Kale. So everything is filled out. So if I save that now and refresh, our department is a quick way to do it. I have a department none here for that, and that's Kale Kula. You'll notice that the last name and first name is indeed filled out, but also the full name is filled out. So I saved a couple of clicks there by doing that. And notice that I did, of course, save the actual item in this list, but I didn't do any you know, synchronize now or anything like that. I just saved the item in Outlook and it was automatically updated. Again, when you have a SharePoint list with shared contact like the consultants list that I have here on the HR side, I can very easily just copy that information over to my own personal contact list. So if I do that by drag and drop here, you see that it creates a copy. And I can also, of course, do a control A and just copy the information. Now note that this is not a synchronization, it's just a copy. So if I copy all of these, now I get a double update. A lot of nice functionality when it comes to updating contacts if you do it in Outlook instead of doing it in SharePoint. So the contact management functionality in SharePoint is rudimentary and it's good, but when you combine it with the functionality in Outlook, then it really shines. So now I have the same people in my contacts as in HR contacts, which might be useful, especially since my contacts here synchronize with my phone, for example. But remember what I did there was just a copy, not a synchronization. So that concludes my demo on how to sync SharePoint contacts with Outlook contacts. Thank you for watching this demo.